Our lesson for tonight is lesson 13.3, Area of Combined Rectangles. Our essential question is, how can you find the area of combined rectangles? Now we're going to be working on page 251 in your Go Math book, so make sure that you write this essential question down at the top of page 251. Now sometimes we're going to have to find the area of rectangles that are together, that are combined. So if I were to split this shape into two rectangles, we have a rectangle A right here and a rectangle B here. I would have to find the area of rectangle A and then the area of rectangle B and add it together to get the area of this shape. So if I look at area, the area for rectangle A, remember area equals base times height. So my base is two meters and my height is six meters. Two times six would equal 12 and they did the work for us here. Now if I look for my rectangle B, the area for rectangle B, I have a base of seven and a height of four. So my area would be 7 times 4 equals 28. So once I have the area for both rectangles, I would say 12 plus 28, and that would equal 40. So my answer would be 40 square meters, and that would be the area for this whole figure here, the whole shaded figure. Okay, let's do number two on your Go Math book. Now I see that I have to find the area of this whole shaded figure. Well, I can split my rectangle in my whole big shape into two rectangles. I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna draw an imaginary line to split the two rectangles apart. Now I need to call this one rectangle A and rectangle B. So first I need to find my area for rectangle B or for A, I'm sorry. So remember, we need to do nine, which is my base, times five, which is my height. So nine times five would be 45. That's the area, 45 square feet for my rectangle A. Now let's try to find the area for rectangle B. Well, I know that I have a base of 14 feet, so I would have to multiply 14 times my height of this rectangle is right here. So this times this, the base times the height. So my height is seven. So I would have to multiply 14 times seven. When I multiply 14 times seven, I get 98 square feet for rectangle B. So here is my area for rectangle A and rectangle B. Now I want to find the area for the whole shaded figure. So what I would need to do is to add my 45 square feet plus my 98 square feet. So if I add 5 plus 8 I would get 13, carry my one. Then I would have one plus four is five, five plus nine would be 14. So the area of this whole figure would be 143 square feet. I hope that you were checking your answer with me. Okay, let's go over number three. So for number three, the first thing I'm gonna do to find this area is I'm gonna split my figure into two rectangles. So I can see that I can split it right here. So now I'm gonna call this rectangle A and this is rectangle B. So I'm gonna find the area of rectangle A first. Well, I know that I have a base of nine and a height of five inches. So all I need to do is multiply my five times nine, and that would give me 45 square inches. That is for rectangle A. Now, if I wanna find the area for rectangle B, I would have to multiply my base times my height. Well, my base, it's telling me that this whole part right here is three inches, so that's my base. And my height, it's telling me it's pointing to this part is six inches. So my base is three inches times 
6 inches. Well, 3 times 6 is 18. Now that I have my two areas for rectangle A and B, all I have to do is add them together to find the area for the whole figure. Well, 5 plus 8 is 13. Carry my 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So the area for this whole figure is 63 square inches. Okay, let's look at number four in your Go Math book. If you look at number four, we need to find the area of the combined rectangles. Well, I can go ahead and draw my imaginary line to make my two rectangles. And now I'm seeing that I can find the area of rectangle A and the area of rectangle B. Well, let's work on finding the area of rectangle B. Let's call this one rectangle B, and we're going to find the area for rectangle B. Well, I see that it has a base of 6 feet. So I know that my base is going to be 6 feet, and I want to see what the height of the rectangle is. Well, I know that my height is 7 feet. Now remember, it's only for this part of the rectangle here, because remember I split my rectangle and now I'm just looking for the area of this rectangle. So this is my height right here. So for rectangle B, I should be finding my base is six feet, my height is seven feet. So six times seven, well that would give me 42 if I follow my formula. So I'm gonna put 42 here in our rectangle. Now let's look at our rectangle A. We're going to call this one up here rectangle A. Well, I know that I have a base of 4. I can see that right here. My base is 4 here. But I don't have any lengths, any numbers for my, my height. So I need to figure out what the height is. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of algebra thinking for this one. So if I look at my whole shaded area that I want to find the area for. I can see here that this whole height of the whole figure is 9, right? Well, what they give me here so far is 7. So if I have 7 feet and then I need to everything will add up. This whole side is going to add up to 9 feet. So I have 7 feet so far well, I need to think 7 plus what equals 9? Well, I know that 7 plus 2 will equal 9. So that means that this little extra piece right here is worth 2. Well, now I have my height for my rectangle A. It's 2. And whatever the this height is, I know that this is my other height, is 2. So now I can multiply 4 times 2 equals 8. Now I have my two areas for my rectangles. Now I, all I need to do is add. Well, 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 4 is 5. So I know that the area of number 4 is 50 square feet. Now, you are in luck if you watch the video because guess what? I do not want you to do numbers five and number six. So go ahead and put an X over number five and number six for right now. We're gonna go over those another time, but for this video tonight, we're not gonna have to do them. Make sure that you put an X on numbers five and six for me. Okay, let's look at number seven and eight in your problem solving portion of your Go Math book. It says Nadia makes the diagram below to represent the counter space she wants to build in her craft room. Number seven says, what is the area of the space that Nadia has shown for scrapbooking? So we're going to have to find the area for scrapbooking. And number eight says, what is the area for the space she has shown for painting? So we'll have to find the area for that one. Now note that for painting, this is a perfect square. So make sure that you understand that when you're solving the problem. Go ahead and answer these two questions. Press play when you're ready to go over the answers. 
Okay, let's go over our answers. Well, I know that I need to find the area for this scrapbooking for number seven. So I'm looking at this rectangle here. Well, I know that my base is 13. So I'm gonna be multiplying 13 times the height. Well, I don't have a height for this rectangle here, do I? But I have a, a height of this whole part of the figure, of the room, of her craft room. Well, this whole part equals 15. And if I look on the inside of this rectangle, it's telling me that up to here, we have 11 feet. So now I need to think, if I need to get to 15, and so far I have 11, how many does it take me to get from 11 to 15? Well, I can say that, I can say 15 minus 11, that can give me my answer too. So 15 minus 11, that would equal four. So I can say that this part is going to be four. That's going to be my height for my scrapbooking. So I'm gonna multiply 13 times four. Well, well, 13 times four is 52. So I know that the area for my scrapbooking part of the room would be 52 square feet. Now our job was to find the area of the painting portion of her room. Well here is her painting portion. Now remember I told you that that was a perfect square. So remember perfect squares have all equal sides. So so far I have five up here. I know that if this side is five then this side then my height must be five also. All sides are five. So all I need to do is multiply my base times my height, which is five times five. Well, I know that five times five is 25. So the area for her painting portion of her room is 25 square feet. I hope you got those right. Let's go on to the homework problems. All right, here are your homework questions for tonight. You need to answer numbers one and two on page 252, and then you need to go ahead and answer the rest of the questions on page 252. Don't forget to assess yourself at the top of the page. Here are your homework questions again, and good luck. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.